Hello and welcome to this channel. This is Uncle Norris. I want to say a very big thank you to every of my existing subscribers and welcome to the new subscribers. You have joined a very great family because what we do here is bringing you important information when it comes about looking for jobs abroad or migrating as a student or as a worker. Today I'll be talking about care, care homes that are currently recruiting um, carers from Nigeria and other international countries. Now these care homes are going to be giving you tier 2 visa or tier 4 visa as the case may be and you can work um, in the UK with your family and your dependent as an immigrant. Now if you are just joining us for the first time or if you have not seen my last video where I listed about 40,000 companies that are offering the tier 2 visas. So the tier 2 visas like I explained before enables you to work in the UK as a skilled worker or as a professional and you are entitled to benefits which your family too can benefit. So today I'll be talking about some companies that are currently employing and are giving tier 2 visas to care caregivers from abroad or international caregivers that are not based in the UK. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. As I do on my videos, at the end of this video, I'll be putting the links to this site I'm going to be mentioning and the description for your um, convenience so that you can at your own leisure time or your own free time, check out this site and apply accordingly because some of these um, vacancies will be ending before the end or be closing before the end of this month. So I want to talk about the first group, uh, the Gateway Care Services. This Gateway Care Services provide support for people who need assistance or in their houses or in the community and they have said that they are providing tier 2 visas um, for interested caregivers who are willing to come from abroad and work in their different sites. So they have different um, um, sites where you can work as a caregiver and they have promised to give the COA, that is Certificate of Sponsorship, if you have been selected to work with them. They have listed their site um, and also the web, um, email address for you to send your documents for them to enable to assess you and also book for interview. So if you're interested, like I said, go to the description at the end of this video and see for yourself and apply accordingly. Alright, uh, the next company I'll be talking about is the J.M. Michaels Group Limited. J.M. Michaels Group Limited. So don't bother yourself in case you don't get it. I am going to put their links, like I said, in the description below. Alright, so J.M. Michaels Group, what do they do and what are the benefits they are going to give you if you are employed with them? Now, J.M. Michaels say they are, going to be, they are giving tier 2 visa sponsorship to international um, um, job seekers or carers who are interested to work with them. And one thing I wanted to note is that the the vacancy closes on the 19th of this month. So you should hurry. If you are interested, hurry and apply with J.C. Michaels. Now, some of their benefits if you are working with them is the specialized continuous mandatory training and fresh house training, opportunity to get national recognition, qualification in health and social care, paid annual leave, excellent ongoing management support, attractive benefits um, packages, right? And they also have different branches. They are recruiting in their different branches. So if you are interested, you can apply. They don't need you to have any experience because they have said that they are going to train you so that you can meet their standard. That is why they say continuous, continuous training and also recognition, qualification with health and social care. So if you are interested, like I said, you can look up JC, JC Michaels and also apply for their job offer. Of course, this is ending on the 19th of this month. Don't miss this opportunity. The next group of company or the next company I'm going to be talking about is the Nash Healthcare Limited. Now, the Nash Healthcare Limited also say that they, pro they provide sponsorship license for senior healthcare workers, both living in the UK and living abroad. So if you're in the UK and you want to, you're a senior healthcare worker, you can also apply. If you are living abroad, abroad means outside the UK, you can also apply. Nurses can also apply for this senior health.
healthcare worker. So if I know so you've been looking for a job and you've not been able to get, you can try and go through the senior healthcare worker route and see how it's going to favor you. Now, some of their services in this um, NASH healthcare includes domiciliary care, live-in care, personal care, and respite care. So these are some of the um, care that this company provides. That is the end-of-life care, companionship, specialist care, um, hospital to home care, you know? If you know this is something you want to do or something you like doing, I advise you to jump on this opportunity. And um, because this opportunity, like I said, will be ending, some of them will be ending very, very soon. And they have said that they are also providing tier two visa sponsorships for people living in the UK and also people living abroad. All right, so the last group, but not the least group I want to talk about in this section is the key to care. The key to care limited also have said that they provide tier two visa for both international um, candidates and candidates who are also in the UK. Now they say that you should also be able to have the UK driver's license. But if you are an international applicant, you are shouldn't bother yourself because in um, Nigerian driver's license or international driver's license is recognized in the UK and you can use it to drive for at least one six to one year, depending. So that shouldn't be a bother for you. So you they also say that you need to have at least two years experience in care, in care as job on caregiving. So if you are a UK you're already in the UK, you can apply for this job also because they are also going to help you change your visa from one type of visa to another type of visa. So what kind of care do they provide? Or what kind of people are they looking for? They say they are looking for people who are caring, flexible, uh, with time, who can communicate very well, who are comfortable working with the elderly. So their care is basically focused on the elderly, people who are um, physically impaired, people who are having dementia and Alzheimer's, those end of care or end of life care. You're able to read and write English very well. You're able to communicate in English. You're able to speak English, understand English very well. And because they said that they have too much traffic on their site, so you should be able to provide provide a very good CV. You'll be able to provide every document that they ask you to provide. You'll be able to um, be um, stand out so that you'll be able to be selected all right so some of their benefit is fair pay they say they are giving you a very fair pay flexible contract your contract is going to be flexible it's very important when you are giving you a contract in the uk or any country you check the kind of contract they're giving you they're going to give you full support in your immigration or with your family you're going to be having um ongoing training also additional training try you can move from one level to another level you can get up to level five Another thing is daily satisfaction and also career progress opportunities. So these are some of the um, benefits this key to care limited have said they'll be offering um, their candidates or their employers who are successful after the interview. So you can do well to check their website. Look for um, um, like I said, I'll be sending. I'll be uh, um, putting the web link in the description. You can go there, click on this link, and apply. Make sure you follow the right um, instructions so that you'll be able to get all the documents that they need. If you see anywhere they say that you need driver's license, as long as you have your Nigerian driver's license, it can stand as um, international driver's license until you get the UK driver's license. All right, that's all from me today. Um, if you enjoy this episode, please like share and subscribe help us to grow this channel so that we'll be we we'll continue giving you information that are worth it all right thank you and stay blessed